Welcome everyone to another Parking Network video. Uh, today I'm joined by Mustak from Parkole. Mustak, how are you doing? Hi, Manoj, how are you? Thank you. Yeah, doing fantastic. Uh, thank you for joining today. Um, could you please briefly introduce yourself and also Parkole? Yes, my name is Mushtaq Arikli. I am the managing director of Parkolai. Uh, our company is in the industry for automated parking systems over uh, 24 years. And thank you for uh, talking to us. So what do you guys do at Parkolai? What's the solution that you provide? Actually, what we do is uh, we provide full range of uh, mechanical car parking systems from double stackers to fully automated parking systems. Uh, as I said, it's over 24 years. Uh, we are available all over the world, from Australia to United States. Uh, so we have our own genuine solutions. Uh, we do uh, as, as, as comprehensive as possible, and we always do uh, customer-oriented, customer-centric product uh, to uh, satisfy end users. So I thought we would take a step back first before going deeper into Parkole. Could you tell me uh, in general about the industry, uh, what kind of problems automated parking really solves? Actually, you know, uh, parking problem is everywhere. I mean, since the demand for cars is increasing and it's going to increase, especially by having the uh, EV electrical vehicles. So, uh, so it will the consume uh, in cost of uh, cars will be uh, reduced, and of course, it is going to increase the demand. And as of now, already in our cities, in Europe, in, in all over the world, there is a certain demand for parking. Uh, when you make new buildings or, or new uh, 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 land developments, so so it brings parking problems together. And the most critical thing is to find a convenient amount of land uh, uh, to, to, to supply parking. Mechanical car parking system, especially automated car parking system, solve the problem that we need very uh, limited space, a uh, very small space to be able to fulfill the required number of parking spaces. Since this technology is uh, already very mature, now we know that there are some projects has been realized has been uh, developed in 1930s and now it became a reliable industry around the 1960s so already more than uh, almost let's say uh, 100 years of uh, technology so so now it's in our daily life everywhere uh, we can apply and uh, utilize these products to solve the parking problems so why would you say, you know, we should see more automated parking, specifically public automated parking within Europe? Actually, uh, look, uh, the automated parking systems uh, to solve a parking problem is a, is a key. Uh, but we don't use, I mean, in Europe, uh, European cities or Unip European parking in, uh, developers or investors don't use automated parking systems very frequently because I think they don't they don't see uh, uh, they don't know how it how it is going to be operated. It's not common over there. But as Parkolai, uh, actually, when we design our own products, uh, we always concentrate on the end user's experience. So even we influenced our design architecturally to have very satisfied users at the end. Uh, we, we had a project uh, in Izmir uh, 2013. Uh, it was just 280 parking spaces and this at the, set, at the center of Izmir. Uh, up to now, more than 1 million cars had been parked there. So we, from, from this and similar projects, which we learned that uh, the, the design of the parking, not only from the mechanical or, or electrical side, also architecturally should be designed so that the first time user should park there conveniently, comfortably and safely. So, yeah, there are some key points on our uh, product in our in our industry that you should have definitely should have a safe product you should have a comfortable product and also the the, the parking time uh, the performance of the system should be uh, relevant to the needs of the users uh, i think 
especially from the performance point of view, the customers and users were not very satisfied till now in Europe because they had to wait for a long while and there should be there was some queues in front of the parking to be able to enter or exit the systems. So when we developed our products, we were uh, very much uh, uh, involved on the uh, performance issues and we designed our product to have very high performance. Uh, from this point of view, the customers wait very less time, just let's say maximum two minutes to be able to get their cars. And uh, uh, we can make very large number of parking uh, spaces, like uh, recently we made in Izmir with 636 parking spaces. It is quite big number for, for a public parking. And once you have a reliable software uh, behind it, so you don't need anybody to operate uh, this parking. So this reduces the uh, uh, operation cost, running cost. So overall together, we have uh, a satisfied end users. Once you have satisfied end users, then operators also and also investors become satisfied. This is what we achieved in Turkey. Now, as I told, since uh, 2013, our first installation of public parking in Izmir. Since then, we have done numerous of uh, uh, installations in Manisa, Trabzon, uh, Samsun, and other cities as well. So those cities now understood that uh, automated parking system could be a solution to solve uh, lack of land. Uh, to, to make parking where the parking needed. This, this, is, the key, this is the key issue. Uh, so we believe that our core technology, which we developed with high performance and the highly, uh, uh, highly uh, value for, for high value for the architecture, uh, this could be an option for uh, Europe as well. Some cities we know in Europe, they have big problem for parking at the center of cities. They don't have land, big land to make it conventional. So this technology is, is, uh, can be a solution for that. Could you, could you maybe expand on that? So what specifically, what regions within Europe do you find uh, could really make use of the solutions, especially after success that you've had within Turkey in the cities that you mentioned? Actually, yes, in Europe and also in the uh, 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 nearby areas, uh, we have uh, important demands. Uh, East Europe is one of that. We are we are now uh, having concrete projects. We have projects, running projects in Sri Lanka, in uh, Saudi Arabia as well. So we had some projects in Spain already running to projects, and also in in uh, Central Europe. There are uh, certain demands uh, and we like to be uh, part of the solutions uh, even in, in those countries. Well, Mustaka, thank you for the very informative interview. I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing more of your solutions uh, around Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching today. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.